So before we begin this talk on Tulare Community College, I wanted to kind of set out the reasons for making this video and now, because obviously events have unfolded for over the past, let's say four years, where it would have been very, very, you have to walk cautiously, right? When you have a bunch of individuals who have nothing better to do than cancel people and you know who those individuals are because they've canceled Teresa Nielsen. I mean, essentially that's what it is, right? You have to walk very carefully and make sure that your statements cannot be taken out of context, that they are you know, out of context, your statement is still okay, basically. So Teresa Nielsen was the most famous Magic the Gathering artist she went up and actually kind of just out of the blue, really, the MPL member Autumn decided that she did not like the fact that Teresa Nielsen had liked or retweeted or followed. I don't even know if she retweeted. I know she liked and had followed some people on Twitter who were very conservative. Now, compare that to the support that Aaron got, Aaron who even though you know virtual signaling the black lives matter made makes i think it's very hypocritical when she has said some of the crazy things he said about african americans in the past including harassment of a uh, not welcome nature um, in my opinion this is really hypocritical right you have an individual who is saying, oh, I really care about Black Lives Matter. And in past tweets when no one mentions this, even though there these tweets have existed for a very long time and no one has no one cares, has said some very bad things against African American magic players, African Americans in general, random African Americans see sees on the bus. It's very compelling that uh, Tolarian Community College comes out and supports one of them, but does not come out and support Teresa Nielsen. That Wizard of Coast comes out and supports one of them, but does not support Teresa Nielsen. That they are always gonna side against essentially anyone who is even a ink of conservative. So I would even make the argument that I'm a moderate and they always side against me too. And that's it. the only problem, a little bit of a problem is I'm a Asian American minority, or I guess Asian American minority in the US. Therefore, if Tolarian came after me, or if Aaron came after me, it would be slightly more difficult than they came out after maybe a cis white male like Jeremy Hambly. Uh, they did go after T. Wu and they got him. And that's a very sad and tragic story. T Travis Wu was one of the best Magic players at the time. The best. And they canceled him in basically mid-flight. He Wizard of Coast had given him a ticket. They wanted the ticket to be returned back to them, a plane ticket to the uh, event. I think it's a pro tour. And he was not allowed to compete at that pro tour therefore ending his Magic career. And I don't know if you guys remember how big of a you know, he was sponsored by Channel Fireball. He was streaming. I mean, he could have been huge. He would have been much bigger than I guarantee you anyone in MPL times 100 because he already was big. Kind of reminds you of a Jeff Hoogland, but it's kind of a Jeff Hoogland who was innovating, deck teching, having a lot of fun on Twitch. And now he's a farmer because they basically canceled him. So they they canceled Travis Wu. They canceled Jeremy, who then had to pivot into what he's doing now. You know, good luck. Uh, you know, obviously that was the right choice for Jeremy. They canceled me twice. Uh, they canceled Teresa Nielsen. They canceled. I mean, it got to the point that Aaron and I'm going to get straight back to Tolarian Community College. I promise. But I want to set the context that Erin, in a tweet, said that she should be a professional apology writer for all of us who got canceled, including myself, including Jeremy, including, and she would rate these apologies. So many people due to the MPL, and it's not just like one person in MPL, it's, it's all of them, they are all canceled. 
and uh, it was savage, really, because they're friends. And I mean, this is who they are friends with, Con Conley Woods. He's still waiting trial, lucky for him of COVID-19, so he's got to enjoy some of his free time outside. But trial is still going to happen eventually. Uh, we had Owen, who is really, I mean, these are their best friend. That's Reed Duke's best friend. He didn't come out and defend him. And you have to look at it, right? Then you have to look at Magic Mike's. None of them came out to defend Aaron. And it's, isn't it like so crazy that someone who actually, in my opinion, in most people's opinions, including her friend's opinions, it looks like, was racist, is tweeting about Black Lives Matter. As if like the Black Lives Matter movement was her primary concern, to just to get clout. And that's the atmosphere I want to tell you is that I don't think these people believe what they're tweeting out all the time. They just attack, you know, let's say Donald Trump says something stupid and sometimes he does. They're going to retweet, they're going to immediately retweet it, get a thousand likes and then continue this process where they build and ask for donations later. That brings me to Tolarian Community College. Out of all of them, you know, Aaron's, the Reed Dukes, the Autumns, the MPL, even Wizard of the Coast, I expected one individual from the left to Larry Community College to stand up and say, you know what, that's not right. That's not how we treat people, right? His whole brand is about being a human being, being kind, being generous, Art, artist, right? He has multiple artists on his, I think he's even had Teresa Nielsen, um, somebody correct me if that's wrong or if that was Wizard of Coast. I know Wizard of Coast had Teresa Nielsen. I'm trying to remember if I'm, I'm thinking that's... He is a very, very big supporter of art and there was no bigger artist at the time than Teresa Nielsen. So it kind of makes sense that he would have defended her, her being also a lesbian. So I, I get it. Tularen Community College is never going to defend Jeremy. He's going to attack Jeremy and that's what happened. I get that. Um, I get Tolarian Community College will never defend me or Travis Wu. I understand. Uh, Tolarian Community College will never ever defend, I mean, he'll defend the mana source to the bitter end, but he'll never defend, you know, he'll, he won't go out of his way to protect Magic for Bad or anyone who, you know, is not in his atmosphere, if you will, that he doesn't view as important. But Teresa Nielsen should have been he should have said something. And it, it's very strange that he did not. And the reason it's not, it's so strange is because I'm pretty sure they had a very solid relationship. Is it as solid as LSV and Conley Woods? No. Is it as solid as, let's say, Owen and Reed Duke? No. Is it as solid as Aaron and the rest of the community uh, on Magic Mics that they've been making a podcast for four or five years? No. But it's still, nonetheless, you know, you have to, Teresa Nielsen was beloved by that Reddit. That Reddit turned on her so fast, it's embarrassing. It's effing embarrassing. Um, and the one person I, st I thought would stand up and they would listen to him, of course, would be Tolarian Community College. And he would say something as simple as, hey guys, let's not do this because this is wrong and let's not ruin people, let's not cancel someone for the tweets and like, cause like, it's so easy. I mean, isn't it insane? The, the reason they canceled Ter Teresa Nielsen was based on Twitter, right? Based on who she followed and what posts she liked. Then you got a person who at this time was not canceled, but kept growing, 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 growing. I mean, her Twitter exploded until eventually she deleted it. And yet this individual <laughs> was posting Black Lives Matter post, positive in nature, of course, getting hundreds if not thousands of likes on those posts. And just five years ago, if you, you scroll past five years ago, was saying ridiculous things about African-Americans that no one in their right mind would say is not racist. Even her coworkers, even her magic mics, all, everyone looks at this and says, holy blank me, right? The queen of canceling who canceled me, who canceled Jeremy, who canceled dozens, if not hundreds of people in the magic for good or bad, I forget what they call themselves. Not a peep from Tolarian Community College in that issue. 
and then just the abandonment. I mean, it's crazy to me because he should have been the one who stood up. And I would have had all the respect had he stood up and said, you know what, we're not going to do this. This is not the community that we want to be part of. But I do think at the time, the the previous time, so Jeremy Hambly versus Tolarian happened before that. So he had a taste of cancellation and he was a very big part of it. He actually made a video about Jeremy Hambling, you know, saying we need to do better. I mean, obviously it was about Jeremy and that is insane. Um, so I expected more from him, but we didn't receive anything. We didn't receive, oh, stop it. We don't, I mean, if anything, we received encouragement or people received encouragement to continue to harass Teresa. And that's the sad part about it is this community is pretty much shit. <laughs> you know, I, I've always thought this, you know, you can watch videos from the past that if times got tough, if Owen got in trouble for whatever he got in trouble for, Reed Duke would immediately abandon Owen. If Aaron got in trouble, the Magic Mike 2 podcast, they would immediately abandon Aaron. And that's what's happening here. And it's not Wizard of the Coast, it's not something else, it's just ridiculous in my opinion. Um, and the reason that I think it is so ridiculous, there's no loyalty among you know, this community. It's just one knife after another knife. And I was not expecting Tolarian Community College to be the one who no, I mean, I expected him to say something. And had he saved something, he would have saved Teresa Nielsen's career in Magic the Gathering, which is a huge part of her career. Make no joke. I mean, the fact that he can, he can sell original paintings for hundreds of thousands of dollars, yeah, that's, that's a lot of money for anybody, right? And uh, it's sad. It, it, it really is sad because he could have acted, you know, he's always talking about community, helping change people's lives for the better. Step up to the plate. <laughs> Didn't even take a swing. Anyway, let me know in the comments below, was it his, I mean, he has been involved in these things in the past at like Christine Sprankles, where, you know, he will go out and he will even attack Jeremy or other people, you know, if he thinks that they're wrong. I just don't get why in this particular case, he did not stand up. I and mean, again, I think it has to do with the political climate. Maybe he was worried they would cancel him had you no, know, I mean, it's even one step crazy, but like logically in these crazy people's minds, maybe this makes sense to them that Tolarian Community College supported someone who liked a tweet from someone they didn't like. <laughs> Yet these same people canceling Teresa are also the people who are actually not, not liking tweets, not resharing tweets, not following people. They're the ones actually tweeting racist stuff all the time. And no one calls them on it until the political climate changes. And now it's, you know, people feel more comfortable saying, hey, well, you said these things. Do you still believe them? And then the excuse is really terrible for someone who is the queen of apologies, right? Who's going to be a professional apology writer. The excuse that, oh, society made me this way. F that, dude. Society doesn't make you racist, right? You made that choice to tweet that. Society doesn't make you tweet 70 times a day. 50 of them being racist. <laughs> that, I mean, if that was true, then wouldn't like, wouldn't it, like most of the, I mean, that cannot possibly be true. Just think about how the consequences, if society really did teach us to be racist, like, like to that extreme where we just start spewing off all of these things. It's crazy. Hi guys.